Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson again, and we are going to continue our studies, and we are talking about transformations, the rotation, part two. So here's a video I plan to show in class. We learned last time rotation turns a figure around the point. That point is called the center of rotation. In coordinate on the coordinate plane, the center of rotation may be the origin, which is what we discussed last time, point zero zero. And today we're going to discuss it at any other point. So rotation can be clockwise. Remember, clockwise is going to the right. So here's my arrow. Watch it spin to the right. Or it can be counterclockwise, which is going to the left. So let me spin this to the left in the opposite direction. So here we have a question. So rotate 90 degrees clockwise around point Q. So point Q is down here. The first thing I want you to notice, it's an arrow or a vector pointing from going from negative 2, 1 up to negative 2, 5. So that's approximately 1, 2, 3, 4 boxes in length of this vector. So we're going to rotate it around point Q. Point Q is down here. So in a sense, point Q becomes our new center of origin. And we're going to take this vector and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And if you remember, the clockwise is to the right. So I'm going to take it and turn it 90 degrees. And now I'm going to place it at the origin. So that's where it'll be. And if you notice, point S, let's call it S prime, will be here. And the distance is preserved. It's still one, two, three, four boxes in length. And now point Q to point S prime is now rotated clockwise around point Q. Notice how this Q remains the same at the point there, and the distance is preserved in our rotation. But point Q is fixed. So that's a rotation around point Q. So here's one for you to try. See if you can rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise around point Q. So remember, counterclockwise goes to the left. Check your distance of your vector and then rotate it. Check your understanding. If you understand it so far, great. If you're not sure, rewatch the video, see what I've done so far, and write down your questions and bring them in the class. OK, let's rotate 90 degrees clockwise around point Q. OK, we're at point Q again. Notice the distance from point Q to point S is 1, 2, 3, 4 boxes. So we're going to take point Q and make that our point of origin, 0, 0. So let's take our triangle and turn it 90 degrees clockwise. Remember, clockwise is to the right. So there it is to the right. And point Q is not changing in its position. It stays right where it's at. This. So point Q is fixed there. And if we check the distance from Q to our S prime, Let's count the distance. We noticed it was four boxes going across. So now we're going one, two, three, and four. So there it is. And we can even check point R prime. And it is located from point, across from point S, one, two boxes. So let's go one, two boxes. And there it is rotated around point Q. So remember, even if you have a figure, we're rotating around the point. 
So the point stays fixed while the other points rotate around the point. Here's one for you. Rotate 180 degrees clockwise around point M. So point M is down here. And we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Remember turning it to the right. So notice the distance from point M to point J. And it is one, two, three boxes. So let's rotate it 90 degrees at 180 degrees. So it turns it's, uh, upside down. So let's put it point M right back there. And so that's what it looks like. So point M is still there. And if you want to go to J, one, two, three boxes, as we said, there is J prime. And you can count the distance for the other points as well. So I hope you got something out of the video. If you're still unsure, watch the video again. Write down your questions. If you understand it, great. But I'm curious for those who have problems. So bring them in the class, and I'll see you in class on the next time. Remember, like us on YouTube. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos and getting something out of them. So I'll see you in class tomorrow. Bye. -bye.